I'm super busy. I got lots of pool tournaments going on lately. Been working a lot. Got a bunch of different stuff with family and friends going on lately. And uh, just life went from, I sat around in a condo um, with my ex-wife. She went to work and I woke up at like noon or two, you know, just whenever I got up. And then I'd uh, pretty much do nothing. That's basically my life for the past eight years. I mean, I did stuff. I started my own clothing company, did a promotional products business with my mom. But for the most part, I really didn't do much, especially wake up, go to work, be productive. Dude, just because I have a job doesn't mean that I'm a real person now or anything. It's just that life feels so much better and you're able to get out and do things and it's not the stress and the worry all the time because you can't see. Um, I just really, really enjoy being able to do more. Um, and that's because of all of the beautiful people who have been so generous to me and helped me to be able to do what I've done over the past year. And we just had another fundraiser. I got footage of that as well. It was crazy. <laughs> Silent auction, balloon auction, jello shots, drink specials, drunk people. Uh, had a friend of mine who does burlesque dancing. Uh, she did a little skit thing, and a little She-Ra outfit and everything. And it was just an amazing night. And I raised about $3,400. And I was able to buy a year supply of all of my vitamins, all of the adebinone, and pay for 90% of this Miami trip I have coming up. So it really is because of the generosity and the love of others that I'm able to do this. And uh, I have a giant box of vitamins in my closet, and that's another year's supply. There's about 6,000 vitamins in there. And... Uh, it's kind of weird to think about when you say it like that. 6,000 vitamins over the next 12 months. 450 to 500 a month. Like, at 14, 16, 18, depending on what I'm doing and my dosage, uh, what pills I'm taking, because I have the Relentless Improvement 150 milligram, and I also have the Smart Powder 500 milligram. And uh, I just bought a box of the relentless improvement not too long ago and because of my new fundraiser I was able to get a year supply of the 500 milligram pills uh, which come from smart powders and uh, I was able to sell a box of 20 bottles which is about $840 cost or value whatever uh, to someone who has labors for $600 so that they could do what they want to do and try and get their site back because that's it's all love it's just pass it around <laughs> uh you know i have some vitamins i have some extra vitamins here are you <laughs> so a lot of good things are happening i mean i really haven't over the last couple of days been able to think of what to say in this video because it's well, my site hasn't really been improving, but as I sit down and just tell you about what's been going on, I realize that in a different way, my site has been improving over the last couple months. And, uh, you know, it, it kind of makes you feel really good. <laughs> um, I want my next appointment in Miami to yield better results than my last appointment. Like there's certain numbers for certain tests and different things. And if the numbers are always bigger or always better or there's less swelling or there's less damage or I don't know, but it's, it's like being in college and, uh, working so hard to try and get a good grade on your final exam, which would be my appointment in Miami, because when I go there, I want my vision to be better. What I'm doing is working and I just want the test to show. So <laughs> for me in my life, what I've been doing, all the work that I've put in, all the things that I've done. Um, and there may be a lot more different things that I can do to try and help myself even more. And I keep adding and thinking and finding new things. And you just add it in and keep on going. And you got to have that.
positivity that it's going to happen. And I try to live from a place of this time next year, my site's going to be so good that I'm going to be driving. I plan on buying a old school 88 uh, Volkswagen GTI that was uh, when I could drive. I had like three or four Volkswagens. <laughs> I had a 80s Jetta, a 60s Beetle, a 96 Golf. I had a couple of different Volkswagens and I just love those cars and I plan on buying like an old beat up shell and putting it in a garage and working on it and buying things for it and you know fixing it up for when I can drive because it is an absolute fact that I will be driving. That's where I come from. That's how I live. That's the attitude and the positivity. That's where it comes from. It's not I'm trying to be so positive. It's the fact that my life is going to be different. I will drive. And that makes me happy. <laughs> uh, so hopefully over the next couple months, maybe August or September, I'll get to buy a car and just put it in the garage and work on it and tinker around. <laughs> uh, good stuff, man. I, I can't, just can't believe how much life has changed and it's almost been a year since I've had a cigarette in 32 days it will be exactly one year since I've had a cigarette June 30th before I went to sleep I had a cigarette and then July 1st when I woke up I didn't smoke anymore and I haven't had a cigarette since then it repulses me I can't stand cigarettes anymore um, product placement PAT you guys if you want to know about positivity and being on the level and trying to go for what you need to do, check this out. This is my friend. We went to high school together. He is a guitar prodigy. This kid is awesome. P-A-T stands for Profound Absolute Truth. It's kind of like my DTC kind of thing, like Desire to Conquer. P-A-T is Patrick Rifflin's DTC. His music is absolutely amazing. Go to patofficial.com. Check him out on uh, iTunes. This, this music is amazing. I love all y'all. <laughs> I love Pat's music. He's, he's super, super good. Um, <clears throat> so, things have been improving, I suppose. <laughs> it's not something that I've noticed a big burst of this or I can see that really well um, one thing that I have noticed that I can't see better uh, is the bus stop um, the numbers on the bus stop uh, the way the bus stops work here is if there's only one bus that stops there that number is all the way at the top um, and if there's three or more buses the third number is on the bottom I'm able to make out I can't just stand back and just read the darn thing but I can make it out. I can read the bottom numbers on bus stops. Um, usually I just use my cell phone and this is a new phone I got. This is a Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket. I don't know why it needs a half hour long name. But uh, just take a picture of the bus stop and then you can pinch the zoom in on the picture and see all of the numbers on the bus stop. So uh, bus stops are no big deal. You always have your phone with you. And uh, that's a really simple way to go click. Okay, great. And you can also do the same thing with the bus schedule and stuff. So sometimes when I'm out taking the bus to work or whatever, and it's an odd day or like on Sundays or Saturdays, the bus is a little bit different schedule. So I took a picture of the schedule on the bus stop and I looked at it with my little pinch to zoom and everything. Um, my old phone, I think I... Yeah, I remember I showed you guys how I could I could type and stuff. Um, the keyboard, the the time on this thing is huge. The screen is a 5.1 inch screen. Um, this is basically spec wise the same as the iPhone 4. Or um, I can do almost everything with this phone without using my magnifier. Um, the keyboard is about twice the size as my old, of my old phone 
and uh, I'm still able to type, but now a lot better, like uh, more accurate and stuff. Um, <clears throat> so using the phone, the only thing that I need my magnifier for is reading text messages. Um, I'm almost there. The site, the site's almost there to read the messages uh, by themselves without my magnifier. Uh, they're just slightly blurred and a little too small uh, to make out without my magnifier and in apps like Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, uh, all apps basically. The text is very small. Um, on my old phone it was not even a possibility with magnification that I would be able to read it uh, just because the phone itself was so small and now I'm able to use Facebook I can read like a whole paragraph message from somebody which is good because usually I get lost in the other lines of text uh, when trying to read stuff um, so this phone's really really good for me and my sights improved enough uh, that I can use almost every feature of this phone without my magnifier which I still have and I still want to throw away <laughs> and it's even more broken used to have a handle and it even used to have a light but I don't have the bottom part I don't have the handle or the light or the guts or nothing so <laughs> um, I just carry that around pretty much so that I can read paperwork uh, like a credit card receipt at the bar and uh, read the apps and text messages on my phone um, for instance like when somebody calls pretty much all phones out there it shows you know the person's name and number and a picture of them if you have that uh, I'm able to just look at the phone from here and read the name because the screen is so big and the text that the font is larger than most phones um, just default and my vision's improved enough to where I can just look down and read who's calling me um, that's really nice because for the past eight years I've gone ring 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 hello oh no I don't want to talk to you <laughs> so it's nice to be able to know who's calling because I mean um, there's a lot of people like me calling out there telemarketers <laughs> so uh, the new phone is amazing it's super powerful it's strong and nice whatever it's just a phone but my ability to use the phone has almost gone to the status of a normal person with normal sight just being able to see and read everything um, and use the phone out and about on the go all the features it's really cool to be able to uh, you know access some of that stuff from out and about like everybody else because I don't know if you realize it or not but blind people are freaking stuck back in the 90s <laughs> we need a flip phone with no smart features we need to call people that's pretty much it so and if you're trying to do other stuff it's usually pretty cumbersome the iPhone's got a lot of uh, you know accessibility features and stuff and so does the Android phones my phone has like text-to-speech and stuff like that and I speak speak speech to text I suppose uh, I do that all the time you just push a little microphone and say what you want it it types uh, but the ability to see and read everything on my phone it's awesome. <laughs>